to YouTube. How's everybody doing this morning? We're back on the road, on the road to the hunter. I'm flying down the highway at a high rate of speed. I hear it now, I hear it tell you. Um, first of all, I want to give a shout out to some folks. Uh, I'm not going to remember names, but you know who you are. BC something 1211 BR 915 over in Indiana offered me a, you know, a invite to Cummins and uh, spend the night. And, uh, there were several people offered a, a bed and a hot meal along the way on this trip. <laughs> and I haven't really coordinated any of those. One guy says, I'm in Wisconsin, you're four hours away. And well, that was, you know, two days ago because I posted the video <laughs> later. But, um, Anyway, I just thought that was really nice. I mean, I had offers too before I even left home for a, uh, a bed and a meal in several places. Uh, that was pretty, pretty nice. Uh, Jeff out at uh, LD Iron out in Oregon, he, uh, he says, hey, I got, I got family and I think he said Ohio. And I'm not going to Ohio, but you know what's a grand offer? And, you can go and stay there, and these people don't even know me. <laughs> you know, he's making the offer. So that was pretty sweet, and uh, yeah, I appreciate that, you guys. And uh, you know, I'm headed on down. This is only Thursday, and uh, the, the hundred car pileup's not till Saturday, but but I know uh, I'll get in there this evening and get settled in, and it, and I know tomorrow there'll be some there'll be some cars rolling in day early and I booked these rooms this motel room back in uh, I think it was January or February or uh, well I'm not gonna say who but y'all know who we made these plans to meet up at the hunter you know and well y'all know who ain't gonna be there but I kept my rooms because I knew there'd be some cars rolling in the day before and, and uh, also, I think the Invisible Bob might uh, materialize maybe tomorrow. Is that right, Invisible Bob? You gonna be vaporizing, unvaporizing tomorrow, whatever? Yeah, anyway, so we're gonna work on that tomorrow and, and get ready for the big day. So, yeah, it's exciting. No telling who we'll run into down there. I'm hoping to run into uh, Rides with Chuck say hi to him and uh, anyway it should be good but I just want to say hi to y'all and thanks again for all the invites for uh, you know the hospitality and the offers uh, that was really nice so uh, yeah I'm back on the road catch y'all later bye I have a YouTube friend who suggested that I put my or get my grandkids involved with YouTube and that'd be a good way for us to have a record and uh, when he suggested that I wasn't thinking about uh, I guess my comment to him was well I won't put my grandkids on YouTube and uh, you know he reminded me that there's a way to make it so these videos are not public and not everyone would see them and, and uh, yeah that's a good idea and I think we're going to do that through Skype anyway with the grandkids but as far as filming them in their home environment and then putting that on YouTube, I won't do that. I did film my grandson yesterday because uh, we were just having such a good time and I wanted to share that, but it was not in his home environment. We were out in the pickup and out away from his house and it's not like somebody could watch the video. I don't know who's going to see these videos and I don't know who lives across the street from them that might recognize it. And uh, I don't know. I just think we need to preserve uh, that uh, respect that privacy I guess and, uh, I wouldn't put it up without the parents permission but that's just my thought on that my son my son's girlfriend has a little boy and when they come up to my house sometimes I'll film what they're doing they're playing and put that on YouTube but it's not like somebody can watch that and then come snag, snatch him away because he don't live there. But as far as going into the kid's home environment, filming that, put it on YouTube. No, I wouldn't do that. So, I don't know. 
that's just my thought on that, but I wanted to clear that up with my friend who suggested it, that yes, now I understand what you meant about keeping it. That there is a way to keep it private, and, and that's a good idea. So, um, gotta tell you, this brain does strange things sometimes, you know. And a friend of mine on here, name of Toe Record, has been teasing me about while I'm on this trip at him and our peak or up in my shop taking my lift <laughs> out of my shop. So, <laughs> So that combined with watching our peace videos about yesterday about him getting his fence all ready to take down and marking off this expansion that he's gonna put on. He's talking about this addition to his garage and all that got jumbled up somehow in my brain. I had this dream last night that that our peak had come to visit me in Washington and when I come home he was up in the loft of my barn, my hay barn, digging around through all my car parts. And uh but I mean, I was happy about it, happy to see him, and I was trying to find parts for this Cadillac motor and everything, but the funny part about that is, I don't have a hay barn, and I don't have a loft, and I don't have any Cadillac parts, but, <laughs> but it's weird what the mind will, will come up with, so. But anyway, yeah, thanks for the visit, RP. We had a great time. <laughs> okay, I'm out of here, down the road, see you, bye. I don't know how much, how well this color will come through in the video, but it's really pretty out here. And my friend over at Rambling Around, I just got one thing to say, Jeff. Man, there's a lot of corn out here. Y'all got a lot of corn out here. <laughs> Beautiful day. 84 degrees sunny. I have not had one drop of rain this entire trip. Not a drop. <laughs>